I have made it no secret that I used to be a giant fan of the Gran Turismo franchise, except now that they've gone into the money grubbing tactics that is Gran Turismo 7. Now, I personally don't think that a lot of content creators should be simping over Gran Turismo 7. So when I saw that people were losing their collective minds over having that R30 Skyline silhouette car, I thought, I wonder if there's an alternative on Windows. And that led me to looking at Project Cars 2. And they have the car. Arguably, this is almost analogous to Gran Turismo 7 because it's a simulator, but just a little bit arcadey without really any damage, which is exactly the same as Gran Turismo games. Unless there's actually damage now in Gran Turismo 7. I don't think so. Here's one little thing though. I didn't want to do what I hate about Gran Turismo 7, which is buying a whole bunch of DLC. So this is all the base game, by the way. No subscription, no unfair fathomable price, no price gouging on DLC and having to buy credits to be able to afford cars that you want on a limited time. This is all base game stuff, including a classic version of Hockenheim Classic, which this was a racetrack that they did actually use for Group 5. So I've loaded it up, we're using Group 5 cars, I've got like 31 opponents, and let's see how many cars we can overtake in three laps and a very short sprint around this track. And I am not very well practiced. And off the line, oh, we're a little bit slow. Lots of wheel spin, lots and lots of turbo lag. It is absolutely bonkers the amount of turbo lag that we have here. Oh, let's not go into the back of them in the first corner. No, okay, well, don't stop. What are you? I picked a car to go behind, and that was the worst car to pick, apparently. Oh, they're getting a bit stroppy in front of me. Whoa! What are you doing? What was that last second swerve cross? You're meant to be a teammate. Oh, I can't. There's no room there. Oh, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. I think they're still behind me. It's a little bit hard to tell. Now, this breaking point is really tricky with lots of cars around, but we're going to go to try anyway. Nah. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Just stop in the middle of the track. What is going on? Well, we've overtaken a few more now. Can you... I, I've practiced this only like for about 10 minutes. I've done a few laps and I've never seen them come to a stop like that before. That was near. But it's also so fun because we're not dealing with... Hello. Did you... Okay. You just want to go through here at full speed, do you? That was a bad idea. Hello. Let's take you on the outside. Ugh. Now, I don't have the AI turned all the way up because I just want to have some fun. And I think that's what Project Cars 3 does best. Just a little bit of slapstick fun. I know that uh, some sim racing content creators out there don't like this game, and I get it. It's not the best racing sim out there. It is a little bit arcadey. Can we... I, I, I wanted to go on the outside of you there, but you... You blocked my line off. Stop defending so much. We're only on the first lap. I mean, it's only three laps, but still, you're defending too much. I think this game is impossible. I don't have a single problem with it. Oh, hello. Let's get down into second. Oh, this car kicks so brutally under power. Oh, hello. Hey, I got off the inside of that guy nicely. Let's go down into first. Almost a useless gear. It's really only there to make sure that we're not in second gear when we're out of the power band. Let's take him on the other Whoa, don't hit me. Okay. I didn't get the inside. Oh, that power comes on and it's just way too much. I'm pretty sure this thing is on crossbars with just how jank it handles. And lockups are hoy a plenty. Hello! You took the wrong line, bro. And you went way too slow. So that punch was your own fault. And we, I think we have overtaken 10 cars now. Was it 31 cars or something like that? Not entirely sure. Well, let's bring it around. And my breaking point is right here. Oh, I'm trying not to lock up into second gear. This is a first gear corner here. And then you've got to really ease it on. First gear, 
you can't really put the power all the way down. You will just spin the tires until next week. So, if oh, I should really make first gear just a little bit longer. There's limited tuning, but there is tuning nonetheless. Oh, did I miss my breaking point? Hello! <laughs> oh, the butt clench. I was not paying attention to breaking points just then. Oh, dear. Can we take this Porsche? This Porsche is really fast, by the way. The car behind me, not so fast, but really good on corners. That's fine. Where is my breaking point? It's about here. Oh! Okay, that wasn't great. But it's an arcade sort of game. Great work. <laughs> great work, yeah, I love it. Fantastic. Oh. It's just brutal enough to give you your, like, sim racing fix, but it's simple enough that you can just have fun with it. <laughs> Hello. On the outside? Yes! Nice. It feels so good. Oh, I am locking up every single corner. I wonder if I have tire wear turned off or something, because it's not getting any worse at handling. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, hello! You braked way too soon there, bro. That's not my fault, that's your fault. Okay, we're coming around to finish the second lap, and we're gonna be coming up to our final lap, and onto that power band! That second gear power band... Open the overtake. Come you on, go for it. Don't want to be in a corner for it. Hello. Oh, what? 20 seconds to return to race position 16. Oh, okay. Go around! Oh my god, are you serious? Go around me. You dumbass. Now I lost an extra spot. Oh my god, AI. I know I should have set them to more aggressive. There's my breaking point. It's right. Here. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Come on, go around me. Go around me, AI. And then first gear. I was in a straight line so I could accelerate a little bit harder in first gear. <laughs> I don't want to turn away from that grass too suddenly. It will spin me around. Fifth gear, really super long. All right, where's my breaking point? Right about here. Ah, get in the right gear. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, you suck. Well, now there's going to be a massive gap behind me. I don't think we're going to be able to catch the guys in front. We're just going to go as fast as possible. We are about eight seconds of our lap time right now, which is disappointing. Now my breaking point here is fairly vague. There's some overhanging bushes, and then just a little bit longer than that is kind of my breaking point. Now, do I have to go into first gear for this? I hope not. Okay, no. And then you have to be in a straight line when you accelerate, very much like a muscle car in race car format. But we're doing okay. Into fifth gear, and then breaking right about there. Don't want to lock up the wheels every single time, please. Doing okay. And this corner is a really weird one because you have to apex super late. I want to go into first there, but I also really don't want to. The second gear is also like... I, I slowed down. What, what, oh, okay. I was paying too much attention. Oh, don't lose me a place. And then... I got so confused by getting a penalty just then because I didn't feel as if I actually did anything particularly wrong. And we're done. I can <laughs> fast forward and replay like super quick. <laughs> uh, let's clear that out. Yeah, I didn't have to spend $117 on a game, potentially have to buy one of the most elusive consoles of all time. I mean, I do have a PlayStation 4, but who wants to do that? I mean, honestly. And also have a monthly subscription which is just bonkers that I need it. Uh, get gouged for DLC constantly and all those other sorts of things. This has just been pure fun for a very simple sort of game. Not everyone's favorite, but I have really enjoyed this and you know what? I have been getting really into ACC a lot recently because of uh, that that's not my fault. That was that was a pileup. Don't blame me. 
if you have it, break it back out. I know you've probably not played it in the time because their player numbers monthly for this game is really, really low. And just have a little bit of fun. Don't take it so seriously. And you will have an absolute blast. I promise you, if you don't take this seriously, it is one of the best sim racing games in com uh, Windows computing game. My brain's not working. Because one, for one, you know, this is really loud. I'm going to turn my headset down. There we go. Now I can concentrate a little bit more. Not the most realistic. Worth a try. For now, thank you. And I'll catch you all next time. Goodbye. A special thanks to all my channel members. And a special super duper thanks to Ruben. Thank you very much. You make making content a little bit easier in such an absolutely ridiculous economy.